Among the newcomers enjoying their first Melbourne Cup in 1972 was Adelaide jockey John Letts. He'd never been to Flemington. He hadn't seen the horse he was booked to ride in the Cup, hadn't met its owner, Ray Trinder, or its trainer, George Hanlon. So when he climbed aboard the Tasmanian horse Piping Lane, he sought some much needed local knowledge from rival jockey, Harry White. And I went up to Harry and I said to Harry, I said, how do you ride Flemington, Harry? I said, I've never been here. He said, oh, put him to sleep early. He said, and when you get to Chiquita Lodge, make your run from there. And I said, thanks. And I walked away and I thought, what the bloody hell is Chiquita Lodge? And I thought, it must be a 30 story high motel on the outside the track, you know, and I'll be, I won't miss that. Let's see, figures Chiquita Lodge must be some great big motel or hotel or something like that. And he says, you know, he, he's going along and he's looking for uh, Chiquita Lodge. He can't see this tall building. No, no sign of it. And then guns in pushing through and battleground the rails. Man, your feet got... Unable to spot Chiquita Lodge, Letsy decided to follow the champion grey, Gunsing. Piping Lane scored an upset victory with Gunsing to gallant third. Outside is Gunsing, stormy seas, but Piping Lane's going to win the cup. Eventually, Letsy located Chiquita Lodge. It's a racing stable at the back of the course.